Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you this day. As I share your word, take over that you may minister to your people at the very point of their needs. In Jesus' name, amen. My name is Florence Mine. I'm coming to you at another time of celebrating a moment with joy. The title of my message today will be Negligence. I had to look for the meaning of the word negligence when God put this in my mind, in my heart. And I noted that uh, negligence is failure to take proper care in doing something. And then I saw a quote that some of accidents happen due to negligence. According to the law, on the side of the law, negligence is failure to use reasonable care, which results in damage or injury to another. And from a spiritual perspective, I realized that uh, there is a lot of spiritual negligence. And because negligence is failure to take proper care or failure to take the right action, Jesus was careful when he was talking to the disciples. And in Luke, in Luke 18, verse 1, it says, Then he spoke a parable to them that men are always ought to pray and not lose heart. One of the key things that can bring spiritual negligence is failing to pray. Failure to pray can be detrimental in your own life, in your family, in your neighborhood, in your community, in your job. You may wonder how I don't control things. Yes, you do not control things, but you are a key factor. God has assigned you to be an intercessor. God has have assigned you so that you can be praying for your marriage, so that you can be praying for your children, so that you can be praying for your workplace, so that you can be praying for your nation. In actual fact, the Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, that if the people who are called by my name shall seek my, my face, hmm, confess their sins, I'll hear from heaven and I'll answer them and heal their rod. Yes, from time immemorial, God has always worked with men when they pray. So a nation could be in trouble because you are not praying. So stop being negligent. The good thing is there is always a chance. If you realize that you are negligent, you can stop and start doing something that is right. And when we realize this, will start to be proactive. Can you imagine if you see your child putting the finger into the fire and letting him continue or her? That would even go to an extent of being called child abuse. In the spiritual realm, do you know there are such abuses because you see things are going wrong and you just stay comfortable. May the Lord help us to be responsible and not in negligence, both in the physical and in the spiritual realm. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, help us and give us a deeper meaning of the word negligence in our spiritual life, in our physical life, in our day-to-day -day life. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you.